on last week Thursday's legislative session. Nine majority members, including Senator Sauer, proposed a motion to reorganize some of the 32nd legislature's majority caucus, including committee chairmanships. This move now creates a 10-member majority, which has the supporting votes to override any of the governor's vetoes. As the majority leader of the majority caucus, the 32nd legislature's majority caucus, I want to put on the record our welcoming Senator Janelle Saro to be a member of the Majority Caucus. And with that, at this point, I'd like to ask all of the majority members and hopefully minority members and staffers to give a round of applause to Senator Saro's joining the Majority Caucus. Senate Vice President Nellie Rivera O'Reilly sees Janelle Sara as her contemporary as well as an asset to the majority caucus. I was very impressed with her as a freshman and as a woman, um, I welcome her in, into the majority and I look forward to mentoring her uh, to be to her what, you know, what the, no one was to me. I, I have to admit that women in the legislature in my history, uh, at least in my term, have not worked together. I think she's going to bring good, uh, young, youth, good energy, and, and, and some good ideas for the majority and for the body as a whole. Well, absolutely, as an asset. I mean, you know, you can't deny the political side of it. Uh, the ten uh, majority of ten is a veto-proof majority, but you know that not all of us always end on the on, end out end up on the same side of, of an issue while members of the majority are happy to have the ability to have overriding power members of the minority sees this as a political move which further strengthens the majority caucus's resolve well, I guess thankful that they just instead of hiding and being a, a secret member that they just went all out and made a whole member of the majority so I'm not totally surprised if this is the governor majority uh, Senator Saro worked for the governor. Uh, you can tell by some of the way the comments on the floor in response to certain uh, legislation that he sent down that she was uh, supportive. So I think this alignment of theirs just, I guess it, it, it fills the, suspect, the suspicion that the general public had, which was, and particularly in St. Thomas, which I think she's been deceptive to the public in that she really was one of the governor's cohorts in the legislature to, to help to support his initiatives.